I'm Caleb McNeil, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker. I believe that I have um, a new perspective to offer to the film industry, um, new ideas, um, and I really think that me just standing firm in my beliefs and the ideas that I have, uh, the culture can be changed in the film industry. and. Um, I know change isn't a big, big want in many people's lives, but sometimes change is needed. And so um, I saw a need and I plan to fill the need. Um, I just want to be able to make films that can start up a conversation um, about whatever my goal is with the film to start a conversation about. But it, I want my films to make you ask questions about why this is happening and that can start a conversations about completely other separate topics that can possibly like change a life. It's kind of crazy to think that a one two hour movie can change someone's life. So inspirations as far as like actors go for sure. Um, Jim Caviezel has been an inspiration to me. Um, not even just as an actor, as a kid, like I love that guy um, and what he did. I really liked Person of Interest. Um, I don't know, I really liked him. Uh, also Adam Driver, he has a pretty cool acting story and what he did, uh, pretty, yeah, he's a pretty, pretty profound actor and he has a pretty, um, he has a very unique story behind where he came from. And there are a lot of different actors that come from with plenty of different backgrounds. But those are two big ones that I really look up to and um, what they've done. About a couple months ago, uh, uh, I just felt inspired to write a scene for a movie. I was like, okay, so I'll write the scene. Um, and so I wrote the scene and it turned into this entire story that came seemingly out of nowhere and I wrote the script um, and I had some people help me revise it and now starting in May I'm going to be um, directing acting and producing my first ever feature film um, it's called awesomely and wonderfully made and um, that is the start of me wanting to change the culture in the industry. And um, not necessarily having to stray from stereotypes, but um, showing life for how it is and how it can be. When this, when I start, when I was writing the script, I had the goal in mind that um, I wanted to make a movie that showed that like I I saw all these like I all these Christian films right and so these directors they make the film and it's really Christiany very Christiany but it comes off as very superficial in ways and um some of it may be true but like my, I did not want people to come out of watching my movie and feeling as if that they had to have this like perfect Christian life to um, like make it to heaven and make it in life. And they had to like, it's just when, when movies come off as superficial like that, it can make people that deal with certain things that they make seem bad lonely and I did not want anyone any viewer coming out of watching my movie to feel that way like they're alone and their um, struggles aren't real or valid at all um, and so I wanted to show in this movie that um, like these are real struggles people struggle with and there are ways out of them and um, Life isn't super peachy keen all the time, but it doesn't have to be as cynical as people make it. And uh, yeah, and 
without coming off as like super religious or um you know like all christiany on people and like quoting the bible left and right and like preaching at them you know just like kind of building up a conversation like i said i'm not worried about coming off as a christian i am a christian and um i'm not ashamed of that um but the the problem that i come across when making when seeing films made like that is that it's somewhat repulsive to the people that aren't christians right and so i want to be able to my my goal isn't necessarily to reach the christians and um i mean certainly i'd love for them to watch my movies and stuff like that and get stuff out of it but my goal really is to reach people that aren't christians and don't fall under that umbrella of like the religious community you know and um i want to be able to reach those people and without like turning them off from my movie instantly because um it's like within the first five minutes they're quoting scriptures at you and um talking about like the bible and stuff nothing wrong with the bible or anything again i'm a christian i'm a proud christian um but yeah like my goal is to reach the people that aren't and bring a bring up a conversation there that might bring up an opportunity for them to get saved you know and so i'm not going to necessarily reach that i'm not saying in the future i won't make movies more religious than others but um i'm not gonna be able to meet that goal if i preach at them instead of listening